Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create an action button in your Drupal instance. Okay, so this is our Drupal instance and I already created a custom module and I already enabled this module in my Drupal instance. And I have only info file. In module file, I don't have anything here. So now I am going to create an action button here and which is going to add article content for me. So to create an action button, you have to create a file called lins.action. So module name dot lins.action.oml. So you have to create this on root of your custom module. Once you create it, you have to give a machine name. So always uh, I prefer to give the module name first dot add article content colon enter and then you have to give the root name so when you hit that button where the root should be redirected okay so i open uh, node.routing.oml already so here i am going to use node add or node type so this is the root i am going to use so i am copying the root name here and pasting it root name and then you have to give a title so title is add article content and then where this button should be appeared so for that you have to add a key of appears on so here you have to give the uh, mission name of the root so this is the page if you don't know what the root name of this page you can do on this Okay, so create a formatter. You can do by this way or you can uh, copy the admin slash content path and you can search it in your core folder. Or uh, here we have an expose filter, right? So sure, this page will get called for the uh, hook formatter. So I am using it. Once you create it, you just print the root name by using the root name service. Drupal colon colon root match stands to get group name exit. So just we created a new book, so you need to clear the catch. So here we got the root name, so just copy the root name and paste it on your appears on after that when you see the uh, root name of node dot add here you can see we have a new parameter of node underscore type right so you need to pass the value for it so that when you hit that button it will take you to the article page so to do that you have to add a root parameter root parameter and then here you have to copy the node type so this is the root name and you have to give the value for it article. So give the mission name, small case, and then save. Once you save, now go to your site and just, you have to clear the catch when now you're doing changes in your YML files or creating new YML file. So once it is done, the catch cleared. And here you can see the button is added. When you click on the button, It will take you to node slash add slash article. Okay, this is how you have to create a uh, action button. And if you have a parameter, you have to pass it. If you don't have, this is not required until this is enough for you to create an action button. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.